Greetings Forge Nation. This is Coach Muller and today we are looking at infield setup, ready position, and approach to the ground ball. This is a shot of Derek Jeter when he was on injury rehab with the Yankees. And this is the setup that we want our middle infielders to be able to establish. Notice that his feet are wider than shoulders width apart. The weight is on the balls of his feet. His knees are bent. His hands are out in front and his eyes are tracking the baseball at the hitting zone. And from this position, he can be really quick forward, backwards, left, right, and in and out on diagonal movements as well. And he's just in a good, solid athletic position ready to make a play. And this is exactly where we want our middle infielders to set up so that they are ready to make a play on a ball that's coming at them. Here's a special shout out to Coach Beanie with his boy David Wright at third base. Now notice David's ready position is actually lower than that of Jeter's in the middle. The corner infielders, especially the third baseman, the closer they are to the hitting zone, the lower they have to start in order to be able to react quickly to ground balls. It's not called the hot corner for nothing. The further away you are on defense, uh, the more elevated you can get in your ready position, which is why outfielders tend to be a lot higher than middle infielders or corner infielders. But look at David's eyes looking right at the hitting zone and his hands out in front, his glove basically touching the dirt of the uh, infield. And he's ready to react. Knees are bent and weight on the balls of his feet as he's anticipating a ball come to him. A perfect setup for a corner infielder. So we go back to El Capitone, and actually the next four photos are of balls that are approaching the infielder, three of which the ball's kind of in the same spot as we see right here, and the fourth one with the ball actually entering the glove. Now it's important to note that these infielders, with Jeter here, his ready position was actually back more towards the grass of the outfield, and as the ball was hit to him, he is moving through the ball. He's attacking the ball in a controlled but aggressive manner and is using his feet to field the ball in the center of his body. As we move on to his partner at third base, Alex Rodriguez, Alex is in the same position Derek was in in the previous photo. And if you notice the glove as the tip of a triangle and his feet as the base of a triangle, that allows him to field the ball in the center of his body and his arms are extended fielding the ball out in front. That now if the ball hits a rock or takes a bad uh, bounce it's going to bounce off his chest and land in front of him and it's going to allow him to make a play. But with Jeter with Rodriguez and now we're moving on to Chase Utley of the Phillies notice their eyes are tracking the ball all the way into the glove they're all in a really athletic balanced position weight on the balls of their feet, knees bent, arms extended, and there's Chase with his smother hand ready to accept the ball into the glove to keep it there and also to be able to make a transfer, which is vital. But they're all coming through the ball. They're not just simply waiting for the ball to get to them. They're going to the ball. And we'll see an example of that in a video shortly. Now this next photo is of Dustin Pedroia of the Red Sox and Here's a ball that's actually entered the glove, and his, notice his right hand is about to go on top of the ball and smother the ball so that he can make a transfer, and he's actually physically moving forward through the ball, and he's beginning to build momentum to make a throw as well. Eyes are tracking the ball. I'd like to see his head down a little bit more, but the technique of the ground ball, of fielding it, it's on the triangle, and it's very good form for uh, what he's trying to accomplish. Now going back to Doug Beanie's main man David Wright, now we're looking at a ground ball that is taking David to his right and this is a backhand play and there's two approaches to the backhand. Right now he's got his right foot more forward than his left foot. Sometimes you're going to end up with your left foot more forward than your right foot. It just depends on how quickly the ball is hit, the pace of the ball, and how quickly you can get into a fielding position. But a couple key things here. Number one, notice his eyes on the ball, tracking the ball to his glove. Number two, notice his legs, knees bent, feet are still in a real good athletic position, wider than shoulders, weight on the balls of his feet, 
And number three, the hardest thing for a young infielder is to be able to turn their glove in that manner so that the palm of the glove is facing the ball and, even harder, getting that glove down to the dirt to accept the ball. Not an easy play, a play that infielders need to practice over and over so it becomes more natural. But once you get it down pat and you look like David Wright, you'll be in great shape. Now we go over to Robinson Cano of the Mariners, and he's tracking a glove side ground ball. Now he's actually fielding this ball with his right foot in front. A lot of times you'll also field this type of ball with your left foot in front. And this would be a ball moving to his left, what we call a glove side ground ball. And again, that's going to depend on the pace of the ball and how quickly you can get to the ball. But same thing as David Wright, knees are bent. Eyes tracking the ball, and the glove is open to the ball to be able to make a play. This this ball is a little bit easier to field than the backhand, but still a play that needs to be practiced over and over again so that it feels natural. But it all starts with the feet and how the feet get moving towards the baseball. All right, we go back to Jeter again. Everybody loves to dive for ground balls. It's a highlight reel, but it's important that we learn how to dive properly. Here, Derek Jeter's diving towards a glove side ground ball. And the technique is excellent. Eyes are tracking the ball. All right, he's in a horizontal position. But most importantly, look at his hand placement. All right, this is what we call a Superman dive, where both arms are extended. His glove side arm is going to be extended a little more than his throwing side so that the ball can be fielded. But notice that he will not land with his throwing side hand under his body. If you do land with your hand under your body, you can break a wrist or a finger and certainly damage yourself. You'll have more success if you dive with both arms extended. So it's important to understand that we play defense with our feet to get ourselves in a proper position to make a play. And we are attacking ground balls in a controlled but aggressive manner. This is a shot of Julio Iglesias working on ground balls. I want you to see how he approaches the ground ball. He's coming to it, gets himself down and ready. And all in one motion, he fields it, gets the ball out of his glove really quickly, and is into a throwing position, which is exactly how we want our infielders to attack these ground balls and make a play. If we can do these things and using our feet to field the ball for the most part in the center of our body, there are some extenuating circumstances, of course, our infielders will be very successful and consistent, which is exactly what we're looking for.